Jared's mentality just shows that whatever you set your mind to, you can be successful at. I'm really proud to be associated with him and have had the chance to work with him these couple of years. I think he inspires other scholarship athletes and other non-scholarship athletes to say, you know what, it can be done if you're willing to sacrifice and put forth the time and the effort to do it. And he's done that year in and year out. I'm Jared Martin, and this is my story. And his story starts in the pool. Jared grew up in a family of swimmers, so given his aquatic upbringing, walking onto the UNC swim team his freshman year was a natural next step. So that was kind of, that was who I was. I was Jared the swimmer, um, and that was really like central to my identity. After my first year, uh, the coaches decided to kind of take the program in a different direction. Uh, they let me know after the first year finished that I would no longer be a part of the team. Jared had competed underwater his whole life. This decision was a shocking one, and it left Jared drowning, but not for long. Jared is many things, but a quitter isn't one of them. He found a new home, in the most unlikely of places, doing the most unlikely of things, throwing the javelin for UNC's track and field team. I just happened to stumble out there to watch the trials, sort of see who was going to be out there, sort of see what kind of talent that we had. And uh, we knew that Jared had a swimming background and not much of a throws background, so uh, we were pleasantly surprised at how well he tested. Uh, there were, I think, three people testing on that day, and two of them were really bad, <laughs> and Jared was really good. It's kind of unheard of to see somebody come from a totally different sport where there's no throwing background at all. You know, one of our kind of running jokes was he was going from an amphibian to being kind of terrestrial, you know, he's lost his gills. Had never been on a track and field program uh, prior to UNC, so it wasn't like a backup plan I really had had in mind. It was just kind of one thing led to another and it worked out. To say that this switch worked out is putting it mildly. In his three years since losing his gills, Jared earned first team all ACC honors and became an NCAA East preliminary qualifier last season. He finished in second place at the ACC Outdoor Championships by throwing a personal best of 220 feet. But Jared's successes don't end at the field. He was a 2016 Tar Heel Scholar athlete and is a regular on the ACC Academic Honor Roll. Jared doesn't just follow exemplary academic trends, he creates them. He forged his own interdisciplinary major in neuroscience and graduated with that degree last spring. Neuroscience offers a really cool intersection of like biology, chemistry, physics, uh, psychology. It's really refreshing to hear a, a story of an athlete who's majoring in neuroscience and going pre-med because a lot of the times we get a stigma that athletes are dumb, they need extra help. He's practicing 20 hours a week and still doing better in class than a lot of other students. You know, he's not taking underwater basket weaving. He's taking some really serious, difficult courses and he's acing them. He's an all-around great person. I mean, you look at him and he embodies everything about student-athlete. Jared has realized that student and athlete don't have to be binary. They can work and flow in harmony, with both identities informing and enriching each other. This may seem like a daunting task, but Jared hopes that others will follow suit. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in my attempt. And I just tell people, like, be brave, go for it. Be more than an athlete, because it'll really help you in the long run. It'll teach you things you never thought you needed to know. Jared is many things, a son, a brother, a student, an athlete. But most important, Jared is human. His humanity is what allows him to be so successful in all aspects of his life. Being more than an athlete is an integral part of Jared's identity, as it is for many others like him. Let his story serve as a lesson for those that only see one side. There's always more than meets the eye.